care of the sea monsters, so I got them to agree to wait for us. I figured you'd like to rest and buy provisions before we set sail again. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't take too long now. We've got work to do. Actually, before we go, I have a favour to ask. You're after Dulmagus, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. So I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I've got a great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. Now that that's taken care of, let's go. Guess where do you think you're going without me and my beautiful princess? There you are. So what are you two up to? Up to? Me and the Gov was just talking, that's all. Gov, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Well, I'm glad you asked. The story of how me and the Gov fell in together is an epic tale full of laughter, frills and tears. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well acted off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treat me funny everywhere I went, like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go and not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. And that's when I run into the gov here. Hold it right there. Who gave you permission to use my bridge then, eh? Permission? Permission? Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes, I'm the king. And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their niggers. That's right. You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus? What a shame there aren't more of you. Now kindly remove your one and only self from my bridge and clear off. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way. 
by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. <sighs> Mister? No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gov. Gov? What is this nonsense? Are you a complete imbecile? This boy is my retainer. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. Put a sock in it! Who do you think you're speaking to, you... you... Good for nothing, scoundrel! So that's how you met. What happened to all the laughter, thrills, and tears? <laughs> 